either Andy 4H or Lightning. And uh, you may look at this and you may think, wow, these odds are kind of stacked against Lightning's favor. And you would be correct, but this is still a mystery tournament. I mean, just look at Andy over there. What, 10 stars on the card? Level 10, pretty good level in Yu-Gi-Oh, by the way. Uh, but an incredible 89% win rate is is the best of the best, and I don't think anybody would challenge him on that. And if you did, you'd probably be incorrect. But Lightning has had some explosive tournaments recently. Was like is kind of down on themself. Uh, oh wait, I should explain the players. Uh, uh, but. Um, Last tournament finished 13th, which is a really good placing, and has just been playing better every single time. He is going to get at least 9th of this tournament, even if he loses this match. Like, Lightning has been playing incredibly recently. And you know, uh, we've seen Andy fall in 9th place last MT, so it could happen again. Yeah, to a new player. That was a new player, right? Neetzel? Yeah, Neetzel was new. Yeah. Played in Steam Tourney, but other than that, was new. A new face. Uh, hasn't it made top eight this time? I think. I think. Uh, no, no. Is I believe got eliminated. Oh, got booked by Andy. Wow. Or, yeah, by Andy. Yeah. And then in losers by oh by me. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. The revenge match in the winners bracket. <laughs> what? You like? <laughs> You just completely forgot that you beat that person. I've played like I guess you did. You did play a lot. I've played yeah. like twelve matches already. It's crazy. Dropping into losers early is just a marathon. Yes, oh. it's uh, you end up playing a lot. Let's see what they've played though. Yeah, they they have not dropped into losers early, so they haven't played that many matches. And he's starting out with a Mega Man like, which wasn't great. Neither player liked it very much. Then it's a... such a weird game. <laughs> it really was, especially how. Like the second half was just the first half, but like a little harder. Like the it was like crazy. Level got a few more so obstacles. Weird. Then Rocket Go, pretty basic. I don't want to say bad, but it was bad. Unity, Lunar Lander like. Took a piece, Great yeah. Adventure. Shikinju. On the Pokemon Mini. Yeah. And then Shikinju he, he destroyed that game too. Ma by Majong. the way, that was. Yeah, Shikijou was a Sokoban game with Mahjong tiles. Uh, Andy actually didn't play with the Mahjong tiles, which is why he won. Not really, but I'm just gonna say it's the case. Then Andy losing pretty... Like, pretty handily. Clearly, yeah, against Adam in Into the Core. Which Adam destroyed, and Andy looking uncharacteristically, like, stumbling. Yeah, it, it, it wasn't looking good. It's kind of... I don't want to say it's similar to the the game that he fell in last tournament, which was like a weird first person-y like puzzle -y game. It wasn't really like that, but it was it was kind of similar in some ways, I guess. And let's see, Lightning, on the other hand, first round, Fast Riders Club Battle Race, that was a Mad Gear like oh, yeah. on arcade. And Mad if you don't gear. know what Mad Gear is, uh, go play it. Mad because gear. you deserve to play something like that. Yeah, it wasn't great, but it was a it was an interesting race to watch, definitely. One against Ryback in Moto Heroes, which is a trials like Guilty for me where Yeah, it's a, a very strange game. Um tested it last time. That game it's it's very hard to get a good grasp on, but Lightning just it was was behind for a lot of the race, but started to make up a lot of ground at the end. Played against Church and Sarge in the bouncing ball. I didn't see that, but I know that's Game Boy Homebrew, I think. I heard Lightning kind of glitched the game and made a block disappear right before the goal. That's awesome. That's the kind of energy we want to see. Lost to Triss Corp in the internet dirigible game of all time, Tall Infinity, the Tower of Wisdom. <laughs> actually, it's like maybe an the second most. Yeah, maybe actually the second most. I don't know. It's up there with Gubble. It's it's hard to say. Oh, Gubble. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I saw like five minutes of this race. But, but um, um, winning against Captain Drake in Sega Racing RTE, uh, RTA. Really cool, uh, like, script bundle, I would call it almost. Like, yeah, it was pitting, such a pitting, good you... race, too. Yeah. The only problem was the technical issues, which, like, like I tried to make it better at commentary by constantly, like, doing the math. And I hope it made it a little bit more exciting. Because that's, the, that's like, sad, right? When we have a close ma match, but it's not obvious if it's close or who's actually ahead because of the technical read time. But yeah, that was cool. And then, 
Yeah, and then one against Shrambles in I don't know because I didn't see this and I didn't put it on the play the game sheet yet. We played it yesterday. It was uh, find you or something like that. Meet you, find you, do, do you something. It was like it was, a puzzle game where find you. you were moving different characters at the same time trying to make them join up. And today we're going to play. Yeah. What are we going to play? All right. This is a video game that's based off a novel that I'm holding in my hand right here. Konosuba, God's blessing on this wonderful world. Revival of Beldia. Um, I'm, I'm glad I made the layout so that the font automatically resizes when the name is too long. Yeah, so I'm sure uh, any person who has watched anime in the last 10 years knows what Konosuba is. Uh, very, very popular anime series. Uh, actually, it's based off a novel. Uh, fun fact, like a lot of things are. Uh, it is a comedy isekai parody series. Uh, very popular. Uh, has only been getting more popular, is actually getting a season 3, and its spin-off uh, anime is, is coming uh, next season? Yeah, next season. There was a movie. But, yeah, there was a movie. The movie is great. I actually watched it like three days ago for it, the first time. Movie was it was really good. Um, it, had a lot of but, it, it had a lot of Megumin, so obviously it was good. She's the most popular character, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, um, oddly enough, for season 2's Blu-ray, uh, I guess it was Katakawa. Uh, came to, uh, you're gonna know why this UI style is familiar. They came to Team Ladybug. Yeah, I, I saw it in the intro. To do this game. Ladybug this has, is a has Team like, Ladybug game. Ladybug is quality. Yeah, they are best known for Toho Luna Knights, uh, the Wrecker of Lotus War game. Uh, yeah, yet that another game based off a light novel. <laughs> yeah, yet another game based off a light novel. <laughs> oh no, they're like brainwashed, I guess. Yeah, so that's the story. They get brainwashed by Veldia, who is my favorite character, actually. I'm, I'm glad that we get to see him. But other than that, it's it's Mega Man. It's very Mega Man-like. We are going to be Mega Manning through. The, the, the walking cycle is so Mega Man. Look at this guy swinging his arms yeah. around. <laughs> the, like, standing pose is like, oh my god, it's it's just so Mega Man. I like the way the way the walking animation plays the whole time during transitions, even though the guy's barely moving. That's also so Mega Man. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of tropes. Yeah, this is this is gonna be starting off very Mega Man. We're gonna be getting additional powers. Well, they call it skills later for obvious reasons for anybody who's ever read a light novel. And um, yeah, it's it's just this very Mega Man. Lightning already with the game over though. I believe the first time you game over, you get this little text, but the other times you don't. Players are gonna have, uh, in addition to the skills, we can actually buy skills later. Uh, I banned all of them except for one in this goal because I didn't want the race to be decided by somebody buying a good skill. But um, yeah, I didn't good. want to like ban all shops because I think it's an interesting like t test of skill to have one thing you're, that you're allowed to use at the beginning before you kill a boss. So they're just gonna be getting one, hopefully. I hope they get enough money. Uh, I told them it was 2,000 in the basement. So was this like then, a promotional yeah, game or was this? Yes, uh, this was this was promotional. It was on the Blu-ray. It was like a bonus disc ah, for okay. the Blu-ray for season two. Okay, okay. That's crazy. It can't be cheap to make it, all this pixel art. It might have come with a light novel too. I don't know. I don't. I only own volume one physical, so I actually read it very recently. Fantastic novel, by the way. Highly recommend it. Yeah, uh, players have to remember to manually save at save points. Uh, if you do not press up, it does not save. So remember that. That is in the basement. Oh, that's weird. But who are we fighting? Uh, we're fighting a golem. This is, I believe, from the season one OVA. Uh, the golem is. is he, he's simple. almost dead already. He hasn't even started fighting. He doesn't even know where he is. Yeah, the golem attacks very slow. He, if you, he, if you just, he like, attacked crash. once! Yeah. <laughs> and he's destroying this though, killing I, I definitely did not kill that this fast. So we did have the skills in the intro stage, uh and he actually didn't use them. Uh we lose them all right now because of oh, uh, Veldia. Yeah, game over uh, Yeah, game over is definitely uh not kind in this game. And the game is still punishing on normal. The game is is quite hard. It's not game hard over later. again? I think so. Ooh. So you're told in shop to go by the create water spell, uh, skill, not spell. And he doesn't have enough money. That's a problem. 
I uh, I didn't expect Andy to go that fast, so I'm gonna tell him just get it next time. Oh hell yeah, we're starting with Megumin, of course. Yeah, I took the recommended stage order from an from an older paceman. This has been played in MT before. It was actually a top eight game in I think MT eleven. Uh, that's not how I found it. I actually found it completely on my own because I played Team Ladybug games. So and I like them. This is a problem. Lightning will be able to buy new water. Um. Maybe, but I mean, the pacement was very clear about how much money it costs, so. Okay. So it's not like Andy didn't know that he couldn't buy it. Yeah, okay. That's kind of fair then. Oh, jeez. Oh, it gets lava. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, game over. Instant game over. No, <laughs> Lightning almost took contact damage right there. That probably would have killed him, actually. Yeah, the, the charge shot is, like, so helpful in this game. It, like, pierces for, like, forever, I swear. <laughs> we are going to be playing the entire game in this goal, too. Uh, some previous goals only made it, like, first four stages. There's going to be four, no, three stages, and then I think, like, three finale stages? I don't remember exactly. There's a lot of video game here right there. I think I took, like, 50 minutes to beat the game, like, 51 minutes. Which I gotta be proud of myself because that means that I subbed Zex's time on a Mega Man game. I'm surprised Kazuma has all these attacks. As far as I know, his only skill is steel. <laughs> no, he he gets a few. He's well rounded. Okay, okay. They're just he's just bad at them. He's really good at steel. Yeah, he's <laughs> he has a very high luck stat. <laughs> Bikes on them. They, they look very much like the ins like the bikes at the bottom, and I'm, I would be scared that it insta kills me. Yeah, I would be too. I don't think spikes are insta kill in this game actually. I would think so because it's Mega Man. Yeah, I don't exactly remember. It was a while since I tested this. I had a blast testing it, by the way. This game is so much fun. I've played like a little of this, but only, I think, up to Mega Min. Yeah, Mega Min is probably like the easiest boss to... I found Darkness to be the hardest one. Spike didn't insta-kill Andy. No. That's very Andy important Andy is still knowledge. really low. Really needs a checkpoint? Yeah. Oh god. Yeah, that platform could have disappeared a lot faster than it did. Oh, these, spa these snakes are tiny. Better look out. Yeah, a good point for the charge shot because it has a lot of reach. Oh, this is going to be hard. Oh, yeah, that was that was pretty fast. It's back to the... Oh, it's back to the checkpoint. We did have a checkpoint. But I think lightning is right there. Or actually, maybe ahead. I don't, I don't know. You know, lightning is ahead. By like yeah, half, a screen, like half a screen or one and a half. Ouch, stop jumping yeah, in the spikes like, Oh, but here's a checkpoint. Oh, never mind, lightning's not ahead. No, yeah, that means lightning's fine. It was a different spike platform section. Yeah, and a different pink. Making platform. good use of the charge shot. I found it to be very, very helpful. And he's pretty low again. Less than half, yeah, or exactly half. This game is is not trivial. It's not a game where you can kind of just walk through everything. Oh, good, you good do spot need to there. start learning some patterns. You can probably bash this guy down, right? As long as he dodged the axe. Yeah. Yeah. Probably a checkpoint before the boss. Uh, Lightning's trying to make it through the section, but probably gonna die to the Yeah, add a pixel. I, I, I just don't see Lightning doing the boss without taking any damage. Oh, and he was a good, like, beat jump there. Ouch! Not with a good jump there. Oh, still has a pixel though. Oh, and here's and the checkpoint. The checkpoint. Oh, don't jump over it. <laughs> oh, this is boss. Yes, this is boss. 
They really are mega mean. Oh, she's oh already God. dying. It did damage. It did damage. I didn't even know about that. Well, <laughs> and that's Andy's Mega Man knowledge right there. That's a. Uh... So it's a shame. Oh, here's an explosion. So it's a shame that Andy doesn't have Create Water because Create Water is very, very useful in this fight. I thought she, she was just gonna lay there. No, I hope. Yeah, you're... this is like the strongest Mega Mean's ever been. Like. <laughs> I hope you die in one hit if the explosion hits you. It does like 70% of your life, I think. <laughs> It did, like, it did a lot of enough. damage. <laughs> oh, this is this is in canon before the movie, I guess. Before she powered up her explosion. I don't remember that. It's at the very end of the movie. She get, she wants to give up. Oh, she's healing. Oh, yeah, she's healing. She wants to give up explosion forever, but Cosmo just levels up her explosion even more. Cause he's nice. What was this? Oh, and he gets hit, but could probably mash her down right here. Yeah, there we go. Yep, there we go. H2 cleared for Andy. Out of four stages, probably. Or is there another one after the... He's still killing uh, there's her! Like, there's like three finale stages. Oh, okay. So there's seven stages. Yeah, there's there's a lot of video game. Ugh. Lightning? Ah, lightning gets run over by the... Poor dude. A new skill explosion. A boom. Yeah, it's very strong. It takes a lot of MP to use, but as you can imagine, it does a lot of damage. Well, it's canonical. So now Andy has enough to buy Create Water, like I told him to. After that, players can buy health and mana upgrades as they want. Uh, they are pretty useful. Next stage is Aquas. Oh yeah, I, was, I would just get the health upgrade. Yeah, I found them both to be quite useful, and I was getting a lot of money, because I was killing a lot of stuff. Aqua stage was probably the most difficult of them. You see, create water is just like a big beam. It's it's just it has some good utility to it. And we have ice blocks. Uh, they break after stepping on them. We already so have these AD. platforms. Yeah, but now they're different. Yeah, because <laughs> you, you can hit these this time. Okay. It needs to go reload the screen because he screwed up. That sucks. Andy, it's Mega Man. You gotta go reload the screen. It also does respawn enemies when you reload screens. I think, like, some of the enemies, not all of them. Oh, not this one. Uh, I'm up there just to throw it. Oh, we're playing uh, Ocean, Ocean Old Zone from Sonic 2 now. Yep, <laughs> for Sonic 2. And let's see how lightning is doing. Lightning has like 0.1 HP. Lightning has 0 oh, HP. Jumps into the lava. That's not good. We get water now. Oh, we're drowning. And we're going to get snowballs. Cannot destroy them. Gotta make our way around them. The kind of snowballs that just spawn up. Yeah, who's throwing them? Yeah. Close. So is there like a level down mechanic, or do we just keep leveling up? I believe you just keep leveling up. Okay. I don't think it's anything... I didn't actually notice anything with it. Sounds like a rubber banding to... I put a lot of lore in this basement, by the way, for people who are interested. I know it's hard to look away from Andy's incredible gameplay, but... Also, we get ice. we have ice now. Of course we do. Oh. It's it's not hard to deal with though. Gonna be a tough jump. Nice. One more hit and Andy on four. Ooh. Oh my God! What a jump with the speed boost. Nice. Yeah. Wow. But Did he make it look There's easy? probably still a, a bit of level left. Oh, Did there's, Andy there's a dude. Oh. health upgrade. Not sure if Andy bought a health card or is just saving it for the boss. No, not bought anything except for the water create. Or just goes through the guy, I like it. Okay. Yeah, I guess that works. Didn't hit the rock either. 
I don't know. Double oh, no, get spite. Maybe that was intentional. Alright, Lightning is approaching the Tor guy. He, he has a better time this There's a lot of HP. Way more yeah, than can, can make this work. Minotaur is easy to dodge. Oh, he does this stupid, like, this attack. Yeah, that's just like, you just gotta be ready for it. Making good use of the charge shot as well. Is Deedlet in Wonder Labyrinth the newest Ladybug game? Or is it secret uh, over there? They made a, they made a shmup after oh. that, called Drainus. But it's the newest, like, platformer. And it's also based off of a light novel. Well, well, it's based in, off a really weird D and D campaign. Yeah, it's based off a D and D campaign that was adapted into light novels. That it's like the quote unquote canonical version of it. Yeah, I heard it's like pretty care about it. Well, it's like literally like the first light novel like ever. So I gotta read it at some point. Only one volume has been licensed. As compared to the uh, 17 that Konosuba has. Which Konosuba is, is done now, actually. Yeah, it's over. It ended uh, this year in English, I think. Uh, he's a checkpoint and the door. That's like a bust oh, that's to a me. Checkpoint. Yep, has the explosion spell ready. It exploded. It's gonna yeah, wait for a good opportunity like this. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, it does a lot of damage. <laughs> you just hit that and then you get damage phrase. I'm wondering if I like accidentally selected hard or something, because I did <laughs> these bosses didn't go down that easy to explode them. That was crazy. Aqua just exploded. That's all Fu gets to. This spell is so useful because it hits above you, and it's very cheap. So like in Mega Man games, enemies that are like above you are pretty hard to hit. But like this is a very easy tool to do it. Gonna buy some mana tight. I think Andy's seeing the use of the, the explosion. Hey, that Go was to crazy. this stage. Where else would he go? Oh, lightning is on Mega Man. I want to see lightning get hit by the explosion. See how much damage it does. Maybe I should have turned this game on hard. <laughs> see, create what the the Katsu Fugetsu is, is so useful. It's not just a party trick. Contrary to what Cosmo would tell you. And we get conveyor belts and guys that can block now. And they shoot. Oh, the stage like blocked lightning from attacking Mega Man. That's. Lightning is taking longer on Mega Man than Andy. Yeah, Andy just knew what to do. And we have the flippy platforms. Another very, like, <laughs> very dojin game mechanic. Yeah, this guy's tricky to hit because he's always walking with his shield. Right, Lightning beats Mega Man stage. But it's still more than a full stage behind. Took quite a lot of uh, game overs on this stage. You got. Oh, Andy using the Kachu Fugetsu for iframes. Creative use right there. And dying. Dodges the axe with it, then gets hit by the charge. And yeah, no checkpoint yet. This is. Just this is not a thing. sustainable yeah, maybe strategy. I this on, yeah, maybe I should have put this on hard. I don't know. Andy also showing. So Andy is good at playing games for the first time, sure. But like doing the stage again and just. Having way better movement because knowing what's coming ahead. So I think that's also a really good mystery too. 
Yeah, Andy is like just good at at sight reading platformers like this. And this kind of platformer, I, I know he said previously, if he gets this in MT, he's happy as a clam. Like this is this is his genre, Mega Man, fast platformer. And just really creative uses of this catch up we get to. Uh, I'm sure that that skill has an official English name. I probably could find it in the novel that I have right next to me. And here's this guy again. Do you need to actually fight him? He was just um, kind of there. Yeah, I don't know. I've got him. A lot he's of, he's a lot not of guarding from the top. Yeah. Gotcha forget to also like basically I don't think it actually like pierces shields, they're just not blocking from the top, so oh, makes sense. Can you maybe like do a cool jump here? Or you know um, what is gonna kind of like these bursts suck. So you use your spell, yeah. Didn't have MP I think. Yeah, it like I think it very slowly recharges over time. Alright, bus uh, time. That's a very good check. Is it bus to time? Alright, cool. Good <laughs> well, jump. Like that. Good jump. I mean if you're gonna die, that's the way to do it. No, it's not boss time. I mean, it's this guy's time. Oh, he just died. Yeah, I remember this stage being quite hard. Oh, going down is oh, these enemies are coming from the other screen. Go away. Yeah, it's, it's just like a full screen clear too on on this kind of stuff we get to. It's just so useful. I find I found myself using this skill so much in this game. Again, he's just gonna hold, see another checkpoint soon. Yeah, but I think there's gonna be at least one more. Oh, and dies. Oh, gets owned by the cabbages. Very interesting fun fact for you who know Konosuba very well. It's the very infamous scene with the cabbages in season one. That's not in the light novel at all, by the way. They 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 skip over it as a flashback in the volume one of the light novel. Lightning's just like barely kind of clipping these snowballs. It's just doing, it's adding up to a lot of damage over time and broke the ice. Hmm. Just didn't, didn't fully commit to a jump. It's good to, to just take the death, yeah. Alright, and you on this mini boss rush again. I died pretty quickly. I wonder if you could have just gone through the door anyway. Oh no, it gets cabbaged. It's a drop down. Alright, here's the boss. It's darkness. I mean, she should be the easiest, right? Yeah, she should. I... I found her to actually be a pretty simple boss, though. Oh, yeah, this hit's pretty hard. And you are invulnerable yeah. while casting it. Oh, but you can only cast it so and many he's times. Gonna he's gonna take the mana tight, though, to cast it more, probably. That's what I would do. Oh, yeah, I mean... It's gonna explosion? Like... explosion? Yeah, there Get we wrecked. go. Oh, this didn't do as much damage as it did to Aqua. Well, she has very high defense. That's that's her whole thing. Yeah, but not magic defense. Probably she tanks it. She tanks an explosion in season two. I don't know. In a while. Yeah, she she tanks an entire explosion in season two. I mean, she also tanked an entire explosion right there. Yeah, she did. Got a skill. Yeah, armor. I don't think I used this a single time. <laughs> Blah blah blah. 
And he's loving the mana type. Not seeing any usage for any healing. I thought when you said HP or MP upgrades, it was like a permanent thing, like a step. Oh, that would be very strong. Yeah. How are you do oh, doing Andy's armor? Favorite. Yeah, it, it continuously drains your MP, but you take no damage, no knockback. That's pretty good. I mean, if you, if you can damage boost your way, like like half damage boost, half the armor your way to the next checkpoint. Sure. Yeah, it's a it's an Andy only strategy. Armor and runs to this guy. Because it also prevents knockback. I feel like Andy could armor more. Probably a checkpoint yeah. pretty soon. It's back up to full MP, so. I I would have guessed that it doesn't protect against spikes, though. But spikes are also not insta kill, so. Ooh, jumping down to the other platform to reach just a little faster. Check it. Here we yeah, go. just gonna take it. Probably saw the enemy spawn and just kind of panicked. It was like, you know what, just take this. Oh, there's, there's probably a checkpoint after this climb. Oh, he's not gonna make yeah, the climb it, without it. running out of the thing. Oh, getting kind of oh, overwhelmed yeah. by these guys. Mega cabbages do a lot oh, of damage. Barely manages to kill them. Oh, there's this guy. Oh, go away. <laughs> Be quite oh, cabbage. Oh, nice. Kind of skips the second platform oh, major there. Jump. Yeah. And there's the checkpoint just when you need it. Lightning's on the aqua. Yeah. We'll awesome. see if lightning explosion, sir. Oh my it's god. The explosion. Not just damage racer. He's a priestess, not a tank. He's the most useless goddess. Yeah, that's that's literally the title of the first light novel. Oh my useless goddess. Based off of well, they're like half the light novel titles are based off of other media. So based off of Oh my goddess. I ran past hey, this guy. Skip like right past the guy. Oh both of them. All three of them. All th well. Okay. Keep going. Why not? I don't know. Back to normal? No, still skipping. Oh, one more. I'll just use the micro through the one enemy. It had just enough frames to get through the other guy too. Oh my god. Okay, do it again. Do it again. It it requires a lot of trust in the game. Do it again. Definitely. I I, I would do it again right here. And through this and the tower after. Oh, this guy. Cabbages and these most fearsome enemy. Yeah, they they do a lot of damage. Ooh. Oh my god, jumps jump through around those the ghosts like crazy. Ah, uh, here's the uh, the checkpoint end boss. Get, get the mana type. Get an explosion ready. Going for explosion, I like it. Surprise, you thought it was well yeah. It's dragon. Good. Well like oh, that doesn't matter. That has so much HP. Probably there's some something to this fight. Uh I if there is, I sure didn't find it. Wow, this guy has a lot of HP. And he keeps like partial charge bustering, which I think is a <laughs> it's a weird thing to do. I don't know about. Yeah, I don't know about the shield. Hasn't used create water yet. Not on the boss. Oh, the the charge shot does a lot of damage because it's more than once. Yeah, it's so useful. Just like for utility purposes too. Well, here come these X, and he didn't dodge a single one last time. The armor. Oh, use the armor to dodge the eggs. Good idea. It's not charging fully. Yeah, Andy loves partial charge bustering, I guess. Yeah, actually, a little bit of insight. Um, Andy figured that out real quick, it appears. Uh, the second stage charge buster is actually significantly more effective 
and then the final stage charge buster it takes longer to hit it hits six or seven times but it does 12 damage per hit whereas the second stage charge buster hits twice for 36 so it's significantly faster and better to use the second stage charge shot in this game that's a good clear insight out yeah first try clearing the dragon i did that too but definitely not as fast that's only stage one of this ending. Explosions. Oh, shield run does recover HP. Okay, so uh, don't end stage two. This is the last stage of the game. But uh, there is a lot of video game coming up. What is this? Oh. Continue. Beatlet. Okay. I don't know. There's, there's some game that has it like this. Enemies in the first. It's probably a Castlevania game. So you you do want to get hit because you get HP when you get hit, not just when you shield. If you'll notice, there are platforms in the mirrors, and he susses it out instantly. I mean, pretty obvious. Yeah, I mean, what else would you do? But, it, I mean, it's something that somebody, if they were somehow playing this in Winners 1 of MT, I mean, maybe they wouldn't have found for, like, I don't know, 10 seconds or something. Yeah. It's those little things like that. Oops. They make a difference. Yeah, like me. <laughs> did you not figure it out? I, I think you did. I did. Yeah, I see. did. I still played this game terribly, but I didn't play it as terribly as I could have, I guess. So lightning is two stages behind. Is on uh, darkness. Yes, this is darkness. It's still stage. missing first Wily stage and then second Wily. And he's currently on. And he's just gonna blast through. Oh, I like it. Using the shield so you don't get knocked yep. back by the shards. I'm kind of hurt a lot here. Time for do do. Just gonna just gonna pop it for like the little. I guess like micro run through enemies. Oh, there's more of these dolls here. Get out of the way. Where are they? You got no all one the knows. Oh. oh, it doesn't drop. The troll. Surprise. Get trolled. Ah, so now what do you think we do? You see who's in the mirrors. Oh, come on, Andy. It it has a it showed you to press up. Oh, it's the refight. It's boss refights. Of course it is. I mean, we we know. Uh, I know one spell that will wreck uh, Aqua. This one, bam, Ooh. get fucked. <laughs> yeah, <It's> destroyed. <laughs> Lightning takes another game over. Andy's just running away with this. Alright, Megumin is smashing. Worked pretty well for Andy. <laughs> he was running around like he didn't know what to yeah, do. Yeah, he already I did it for Aqua. Oh, the counter! Try to counter you think your counter explosion is going to work on Megamine? <laughs> but good mashing, good mashing. Yeah, good mashing. Did a lot of damage. And you, you gotta stay on top of where she's spawning, because she'll start healing. Oh, she's gonna die in this. Yeah, this is dead. This is death. Definitely. Wow, that was fast. Boom. That was even faster like than he did it the, the first time. Mega mean. Lightning took, like, way longer the first time. I don't know if it's gonna be faster this time. Yeah, interesting you know that you do not get healed between the refights, of course. Alright, so Darkness was... did a bunch of explosions. I think this will work. Oh my god. There's no he cannon knows. in the background. So not the pattern. Yep. Oh, there it is. But it's still there. Oh! oh Get wrecked. Noob, sir. <laughs> I love the explosion. Explosion!
Got a checkpoint, long fall, gonna be a boss. The final boss of the game. On fire. And I wonder who it is. It's Veldia, of course. Okay. My favorite Konosuba character. Oh my god! Okay, <laughs> here's the thing. I I think I, I checked this because I didn't want to be unfair to people who have not read Konosuba. <laughs> I checked if Veldi was weak to water, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't the case. So Oh my god. That was that Surely was his did. weakness in the novel. This is phase one, right? Oh yes. Yeah, there we go. No, the horse is no, we're, gone, we're which makes him stronger. True. Alright, camera time. Explosion! Oh, is that a miss? No, it's not. Time he has but more not HP. A lot of damage. Ah, it's okay. It's worth it. Yeah, and he's sticking to the explosion. Has not bought any health ups, though. He's gonna probably, probably just try and use the armor. Yeah. Oh, gonna like stand in the bus? No, that's pretty. Yeah, I mean, that's basically. I really wish that I used this armor heal. more now. It's basically a heal. It is definitely like a an, an empty strat that you have to know being able to just like suss out game mechanics like that super fast. Because that has been making a huge difference for Andy. Andy would not be going nearly as fast without that. Looking like Andy's gonna clear this first try. Oh, they go oh, out of the shield. You can cancel it at will too? Go back you in the shield. Oh, too? explosion That's time! Crazy. Really? Explosion? Woo! Wants to one shot him? Oh. Oh, but it's, it's getting kind of close now. Maybe you should have played it safe? No! Andy clutches it out. But that's not it. Just like an actual Kodosuba, he keeps coming back. Oh, he's he huge comes now. Back in, in the movie. He comes back in the movie too. He has a 3D sword now. And he wants to heal. My play is a bit slower just to farm out heals. I would say it would not be a bad idea because like you're probably not going to get more chances at this boss. Like on this phase, you're probably going to have to redo the whole boss fight, so... Oh, that was the worst boss attack ever. Yeah, it's... it's... The other attacks are, are somewhat threatening, because oh, he, like, right. shoves around really fast. Yeah, like, the laser was pretty high. Like this one. Went pretty high. I'm not sure if any... Yeah, this one is yeah, you can dash jump, jump, yeah. Not looking good. This? Oh, black hole. You just don't get it close. And then the worst attack. Oh. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's even worse when it's like an attack with a 10 second charge up and you can just armor through it. You can, you can like, cancel the shield at any time too, which is huge. Yeah, Andy will not die. No way. This boss attacks too slowly for that. It's down to like half health too from the boss. A little more than half. Yeah, lightning is still on uh, the darkness stage. So I think this is pretty much settled. Yeah, it, it would have to be a, a major disaster for Andy. Yeah, and it would need to like nine fingers in order stop, to lose stop this. playing the game. <laughs> this is gonna be hard to dodge, uh, or or not? Never mind. Sorry, I forgot that. You can just sheet every single attack. Man, this is... I, I hate this. Boom! Thing. Let's go. Should have finished with the explosion just so that, like, the effect. Yeah, it's like, uh... I was guess... I was gonna say, like, the movie, but they didn't actually... Uh, last before, pixel, yeah. one level three, and that's it. Level up. Not just level up, yep. but round up. Time ends when the game fades to black, because I didn't want to spoil what the final boss was. And how many phases there were. Oof. Just like real Konosuba, he keeps coming back. And in the end, Megumin wins. Oops. Sacred turn on dead. That's a finish from Andy. 38 flat. Incredible time. Yeah, that, is... that is like the best time we've seen in this game by like 20 minutes or something. Not a chance for lightning. At least I'm like buying players. Well, I guess by 10 minutes. Andy subbed me by like 12 minutes. I think the fastest blind time that... Well, no, Tetsuya got like 47, so... Yeah, like, fastest time we've ever seen.
Andy says, lots of fumbling. Yeah, that that's sure what that looked like. Yeah, Andy really has to step up his play. Compete on top of team Team Ladybug is like, what, like five people or something? Like, and this is like early Ladybug. This is like one of their first games, I think? I don't know if it was quite their first. Andy! Hello. Well, um, I'm... I don't think you could be happier being you and pulling a Mega Man game. Pretty good. Yeah, it's, a. Uh, have you played any other Team Ladybug games? Uh, what games have they made? Toho Luna Knights, the Record of Lodos War games, Shin Megami Tensei. I have Tensei, not. I've always wanted to. I Shin Megami Tensei Synchronicity Prologue. I have not played their games. I know what they are, now you mention them. I have been interested in them. I just never got around them. Yeah, they're, uh, they make some pretty high-quality platformers. They sure do. I've, I try to, it's funny, I've never played them. I try to sell them to my friends. <laughs> it never works, but... I say, hey, you should play, like, you, you're you looking for a Metroid game? Why don't you play Toho Luna Knights? And they, they, never, they say, oh, that looks cool, and then they never do. But, uh, yeah, you decimated this game, like, a lot. <laughs> like, a lot, a lot. How dare <laughs> they give me an, a, an ability that lets me ignore enemies. Yeah, I didn't use it that much when I, I tested, and I really wish I did, because it turns out it trivialized the entire game, basically. Yeah. Uh, next time I'm submitting this with hard mode. <laughs> now I know. Or you could just ban the armor. I could, but that's less fun. I mean, it's like, oh. <laughs> it's like, when they showed just me the demonstration, everything. I'm like, huh, does that let me just ignore the content? And, <laughs> and then, then I started ignoring the content. it heals you. And it, it heals me, as yes. As if it wasn't good enough already. I get to ignore the content, and I get health out of it. Yeah, I mean, it, it takes... Before that, like, it took a lot of trust for you, for the game, just to, like, trust where the game was putting checkpoints and stuff that... Yeah. Okay, I could probably de-boost through this, but... And then I, like, and I was wrong. Yeah, sometimes you were wrong. Most of the time, you were right. It it, it just ended up working out. Yeah, it's definitely one of those... on point. I should have definitely rebound my Badash key. I did not... You, uh... It. You impressively sussed out that the partial charge buster was uh, better DPS than the full charge buster. I sure yeah. wish that I knew that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it hit twice for yeah. a lot of damage. There's like one Mega Man game where I know that's also the case, so I'm guessing it was just you tried it. I mean, yeah. I, 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 I saw a bigger number up. and I saw that it hits twice. So yeah, I'm you like, probably, oh. You probably flubbed it up once and then you're like, oh, wait a second. Yeah, exactly. I flubbed it and it did extra damage. Like, oh, well, this game, yeah, sure, why not? And I saw Explosion killed Aqua, as it should have. As God yeah. intended. It uh, it did it did quite the damage. I learned, that's when I learned magic good. It was that point yeah, that I learned magic the, good. All the skills were really good. You like never used Create Water once, but it was definitely I, nice. I used it a couple times, and I'm like, eh, it's like it locks me in place. It only does like 20 damage a tick. And then I got, then I got Explosion. I got an explosion and Fu, Fu Manchu or whatever, and it was that. Those are good. <laughs> I was like, I like yeah, these. Yeah, Tatsu was like incredible. It because like uh, enemies above you is always something hard to hit in a Mega Man game. In a Mega Man, yeah. And it's like, oh, I could just reach above me. Oh no, lightning healing darkness. <laughs> Don't do that. Wasn't. I never saw that, Jack. <laughs> yeah, you killed her too fast. My bad. And then just like played played really solidly against the final bosses where like even magic it was helpful but it wasn't that helpful it wasn't like kill aqua in one hit helpful yeah i respected the content you might say <laughs> oh well the magic armor the mat the armor was uh yeah the armor was <laughs> which is completely ridiculous and, the armor uh, is completely ridiculous yeah i'm yeah. either banning <laughs> that next time or putting the game on hard so <laughs> oh i'm basically invincible <laughs> and i gain health out of I oh, thank you for the gift, Reese. I was going to send that to you if you didn't get it. I'm going to ignore this content. It's a good gift. Yeah, I'm assuming that you had you had fun with the game. That's from Season I did. 2. And I do, like, I do like Konosuba, so I mean... Yeah, it's epic. I I had the book sitting right next to me, just in case I needed it as a guide. I didn't open it, though. Actually, I did. I was looking for the, the English name of Kato Fugetsu, but I don't remember what it was. Just... Just cast magic. Explosion good. Yep, it was <laughs> it was really good. That's why I started buying mana items. I started buying mana items. Like Yeah, there's like, like oh. more skills too. It's like if I could just 
you know, blow uh, Drake, up the Drake, that's not a new season. That's the spin-off light novel, Little Dingus. The new yeah, season doesn't have a date. I didn't buy any of the health of health healing items. I just realized because I realized a my health bar lasts me to the checkpoints plenty most of the time, and b and magic is better. Heal. Magic is just yeah. better. I uh, I bought them and I uh, you know I wasn't sure because I I didn't know that I guess I like I kind of knew that the magic thing healed you, but I wasn't good enough of the game to use it. So it's easy. You just walk into the enemies. <laughs> you ignore the content and you gain health. It's for easy. It. Just be handy. Ignore the content, gain health back. Where is it? I got. I'm. I'm gonna find this in here. I don't have anything else to do while we watch lightning play this. It takes out darkness though. It's gonna be moving on to the, the quote unquote Wily stages. The Dolahan stages. From what I gathered yeah. at the end of the cutscene, it sounded like it seemed like Cosma and Dolahan were becoming pals, and then as they should, <laughs> your friends killed. He's my favorite him. character. I hope that they would. They keep they keep bringing him back. They brought him back in the movie. <laughs> oh, there we go. How exactly do you acquire skills? It might be in here. I love the music. The music is like just crazy. It is pretty crazy. It's like so like unconscious. <laughs> I mean, Konosuba would be the last game I would think would become a Mega Man game, but here we are. Yeah, I mean, it happened to Wrecker or Lolos War just later. Yeah, but people don't know that one. And it happened, well, Overlord became by Metroidvania. That wasn't nearly as good as this. That's true. Overlord also had a Picross spinoff. Yes, I need to play it. I did play I, it. I, I bought the, the Metroidvania one the second that it came out and I streamed the entire game, so... Yeah, I went. I, I, there was a time when I was in a big Picross kick, and that was on the list. Let's see. Lightning's gonna make it through these double hand stages. Doing well so far. We need, we need to see more Veldia. Why did Veneer have to survive? Why couldn't we have Veldia instead? He's the best character. He's in like my top 10 characters on Mal, just cause like, he's funny and he's a legitimately threatening villain. Like, crazy. He's a really good character. A lot of good characters. Who's your favorite, Andy? Oh, I'm I gonna like... judge you based off this. I like Wiz a lot. Oh, good choice. The cutest lich around. Uh, that's me, but you know, she can get second place. Fair. I also like Darkness because she's an idiot. <laughs> but she's also invincible. Oh, just like me, you know. I like her more when it's not just the one joke. That's why I didn't like season two as much. Mm-hmm. Man, this shield sounds like so ridiculous. It's so good! I can't believe they put this in the it, game. It's insane! <laughs> Imagine if you had this in like a Mega Man game, like, that's crazy. I mean, like, sometimes some Mega Man games do have that kind of stuff, like... Oh, I wouldn't know, I only played like, one Like, almost every Mega Man game has a shield item, and usually it's overpowered. Not in two, not in two. But like... Oh, uh, let me think. Um, Junk Shield on 7 is insane. Um, oh, that's a fake game, so... Mega Man games have any game that I haven't played is fake. That's fake. Well, then none of the Mega Man games are real then. You haven't played any of them. You just said you didn't I, play any of them, so therefore they're all fake. They're all fake except 1, 2, and Rockman and Forte. And oh. 5 Game Boy. I see. I, man, this, this game adds like 5 new powers under the broken Mega Man powers tier list. Mm -hmm. It's up there with like Rocket and Forte Ice Wall. Mm -hmm. Five Game Boy Neptune Dash. That was so yeah, ridiculous. The ice, the ice Wall lets you like clip through walls and stuff, right? Ice Wall also does like a billion damage. Like it's just so good. Super Arrow. Super Arrow is insane. <laughs> the Neptune Wait, Dash. Is Super, is Super, Ar is Super Arrow in Five Game Boy as well? No. 
it's a different set of powers. That's an original game. Well, yeah, I know it's an NES. I never played the Game Boy ones. Yeah, it's, it's like a completely different game played. on Game Boy. Yeah. No, it's okay. Five Game Boy has the Neptune Dash instead, which is an invincible dash that sends oh, you good. forward really fast. Good, good, it does good. a lot of damage. Excellent. Oh my god, that was so funny. I can't believe they put that in the game. Let's see if Lightning can make it through this. The Mega Cabbages are, are threatening. They do a lot of damage. Kind of like a cabbage in real life it. if it was that big. Well, if, if it hit, if it flew at you with that force, yeah, probably. The thing comes at you fast. It's not even the cabbages weren't even in the light novel. They like skip over that part. That's so weird reading it. That is, that is weird. I only very recently. It's like it's like Darkness's establishing character moment. Yeah, they they literally just like reminisce over it, but like the actual scene isn't there. It's probably in the web novel version. I haven't read it. Remember that time I got booed up by cabbages a whole bunch. The only web novel I've actually read is I read the web novel version of Overlord. I'm that much of a fan. Where is it? It's gotta be in here somewhere. Oh, somewhere. I'm not gonna look at a wiki for this. I have the original source material right here. Experiencing Konosuba as God intended. Words on a page. Actually, I like the anime more, so... Music is so crazy. I just, I, I just looked at the the race, the race page, and I'm like, how did yeah. Drake get a how did Drake, Drake get a 25 normal? I was like, oh, he's not he's blind. He's not blind. <laughs> he's not blind. Yeah, you had the fastest blind time for like 10 minutes. You'd sub Tetsuya's 47. I think I was at like 50 minutes flat or something. <laughs> the secret is abuse the tools you get. Secret is be Andy. No, abuse your tools. Invincibility, free invincibility. It's so cheap, dude. It's only cost 10 to activate. Yeah, I was at 50 flat. Just activate the invincibility and walk through everything. It's so easy. <laughs> I go ahead. Oh, where is... It's in here somewhere. Boom, 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 boom. Every day. Are you insane? Oh my god, that light is so funny. Oh, the explode when you explode in your <laughs> castle. <laughs> I have, I have that just like saved like that part I just like saved as a clip on my pc so like i go to just because it's so funny why do you keep exploding shit outside my house Ooh, alligators who wears this oh there's pizzerugi steel there's more skills in this game too. I didn't buy yeah. any of the other ones. Well, you, but that, you, you, you banned them. You banned them in the race. Yeah, I couldn't it do it. It was against the rules. I want to see what they are. Uh, you had them in the first stage, actually. I, I, I didn't. Yeah, I never used them. <laughs> I think I used steel like once, because it like it also healed you. I think. You know what? Screw it, I'm looking at a freaking wiki for this. Aqua's only 5'2? Wow, she's really short. I'm taller than like all of them. Yeah, Darkness is only 5'6. Wow, they're all really short. So stupid. <laughs> Can't believe this is good. Well, I'm glad I'm, I'm put you in a position where you have to update your pace then. Oh, catch up forgets it was nature's beauty. Okay, I had a feeling it was nature's beauty, but I wasn't sure. That's the party trick. Yeah, the party trick where she just makes the water fountains. <laughs> All right, we'll see if lightning can take out this dragon. Not looking great right now, but as long as he uses the armor correctly, you can just, you can just do whatever you want, <laughs> really. All 
All right, gonna pop the armor, take the heals. Just literally stand in front of the boss. It's looking better now. Oh, it doesn't have a lot of room though. Kind of just pushed up at this wall. Gonna have to hope that the dragon walks backwards or something. Pop the, the pop the armor. Didn't pop the armor. See, the dragon didn't take much damage from, from magic either. It took, uh, took a good chunk from explosion, but I don't know. It could be worth it to maybe see lightning play around with other, other skills. I did check just to make sure, and I'm pretty sure Valdia was not weak to water. So Cause I think that was the first thing that I tried instantly. I figured that would be a little unfair if that was the case and I didn't put that in the pace bin, so... Restrictions requires you to have watched Last Red go to Subo season one. <laughs> See, Lightning's got the dragon down to half. Maybe he wants to jump under the dragon because was kind of getting pushed to this wall before. Maybe walk on the other side of the dragon right now. So it's back up to full health. Has a lot of MP to play with. Yeah, just gonna pop. Pop the armor right now. Take the damage while you can. Has enough health that could probably just de-boost through the rest of this. And now I was just gonna snipe him here with a charge shot. Oh, okay, it was barely enough. Wow, that was like a really weird delayed kill. Well, that's Wily one done. See, on to Wily 2 now. Interesting to see Lightning not running through with just the armor. Kind of has the MP to spare, especially because it recharges over time. It's the real problem. The fact that the MP restored for heals over time. <laughs> yeah, that's also a little ridiculous. I like the, the bait on the mirrors, at least. It's interesting to see somebody, like, actually play the video game. Playing the video game in Mystery Tournament? No. <laughs> it's a bad strategy in Mystery Tournament, but... Well, it can be a bad strategy. No. Sometimes it's not. 
See, this is why I like mediocre platformers, because like it, usually they kind of force you to. Are you calling this a mediocre platformer or no? No, because you don't have to play the game in this. I see. That's why I love mediocre platformers in MT genre. Yeah, mediocre platformers are pretty good. Ooh, it doesn't fall. Now let's see. You just armored through the whole room, basically, and de-boosted oh, whatever yeah. you could. Oh, yeah. I love the little, like, micro armor usage just to, like, walk through one enemy. It was real cute. There we go, good checkpoint. I love this troll with the chandelier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so cute. And on the boss refights, wow. Lightning is making quick work through this stage. I don't think you could be charging to make it through these. There you go. It showed you the little joystick up thing. Yeah, I didn't realize that at first. It takes a second for it to show up. That's the real problem. Yeah, but it's like you should be investigating the mirrors. Like, come on. Going on a refight darkness first. We'll see if that's better luck against her than the first time. Because hitting her a lot during the heal phases before. Yeah, out of the heal phases. That's really big. Because it has enough MP to do an armor as well. Oh, I could probably just run up to her and deep boost against her. Before she goes healing. <laughs> do it, no. At least pop the armor so you don't die. Oh no, that's bad. You actually want them to hit you. I oh, know you you have so much oh my god you have so much mana. Looks so much cooler though like this. Yeah, it's like it's really neat. It's really neat both ways. It's gonna try and fight Megarine with a pixel of health. Maybe tank a whole explosion with the armor? Why why is he doing this? Alright, tank the explosion. Ooh. Boom! That's half your health back. No, it doesn't protect against... Oh no, just cancel the shield, okay. Yeah. I think it wouldn't protect against crushing damage. That's a pretty fair assessment. That's something I could see happening. I will take the other explosion. I do notice that your damage gets halved when you are invincible. That is the downside. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it would be just completely insane otherwise. No downside. I mean, it essentially has no downside. But... Yeah, it, it basically <laughs> has no downside already. Oh, took the explosion to the face. Yeah, just gonna try and finish up the boss fight. With being in stucco. If this took place canonically after the movie, it would have been an insta-kill. An it's explosion go time! Aqua again at low health. Okay, I'm more time. I think, I think once the heal is sensing... Wait, there's boss refights! There's probably a boss after this! I know Mega Man. Played one Mega Man. No, it's a lie. I played a lot of Mega Man. What played was this? Yeah, he's played one Mega Man ever. Yeah, we actually get to see Aqua's boss fight. because but We, we get to see this twice, before. because Lightning dies. Yep. You're supposed to jump on the boxes. Nah. Knifer. Or you just explosion her. <laughs> or explosion her, yes. Delete her from reality as, as she starting deserves. the boss fights. 
Oh, lightning explosion time, you know how good it is. Well, Lenny didn't have MP last time. Next time he does and should nuke. What the hell is going on? That is, that is not an effective strategy. It's an aqua kill. See who he goes to fight next. I would go fight Darkness next because you know you can tank a whole explosion and heal a lot off of Megamine. So if you're yeah, if you're sussing out there's a boss fight next. Pretty good strategy. You can also do it against Darkness. You can also do it on the boss that comes after this. <laughs> That's how good the armor yeah. is. Yeah, you can do that too. Like I said, that's why I bought magic items when I saw how good magic was. Like, oh yeah, let's just let's get some MP restoration. Wait, it's shield time. It's shield time. No, don't, don't kill them. Don't kill them. The reach is pretty incredible on the sword. It's amazing that she can even hit you because, like, that's her thing—is that she's no accuracy. Yeah. yeah. She's essentially invincible. Andy I always like this as a, if this is a question for you two and everybody in the chat, because I always like this as like a creative writing idea, because like I'm a writer, I'm writing a web novel. Um, if you were to make like a, a gaggish, like Konosuba character, like if you were to make an OC in this universe, it has to be like, you know, fancy character with some wacky trait about them. What would be your thing? Hmm. I have, hmm. A, I have a few planned out for me. There's no archer characters really, so we could probably start with that as a base. The question is yeah. how I have one for an archer. Um Anybody in the chat too, if you, you want to come up with one. I wanna hear your ideas. It's always a fun little creative writing idea. Oh my god, the crush damage heals you by a lot. Yeah, Cosmo does have Snipe, yeah, he doesn't get that in Season 2. But he's not like a dedicated archer. A, a Beastmaster that can't control their beasts at all? That's a good one. <laughs> it's gets, like, gets, of chewed, gets chewed on a bunch. Yeah, yeah. my, my archer is an um, archer that uh, can only hit trick shots. Like, just can't hit normal shots, but can only pull off like insane trick shots. No, I had one OP tank hybrid, uh, but whenever he goes into combat, he has a speed of one. So he just slowly <laughs> shuffles towards people. <laughs> and he's like a living suit of armor. Totally not based off of Hakuman from Blaze Blue. It's also a um, tank merchant guy who hates magic so much that it just has no effect on him, and Wizard's just like crying, trying to cast a lightning spell on him. <laughs> no, the Final Fantasy Tactics Just method. If you don't believe it, so if you much. don't believe in the magic, it doesn't hurt you. Alright, lightning moving on to the final boss. Final Fantasy Tactics method of the faith set existing, where the faith faith affects both yeah. your ability to cast and be accurate with magic, but also the effectiveness of magic on you. Fighting my favorite Konosuba character now. The man himself. I kind of look like this in real life, if you think about it. I love Lightning just using this to just tank one hit. <laughs> so busted. Just this is getting banned next time. Just be invincible. I will I assure you the goal will be much harder with, with M, M armor band. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Oh, it was going during the cutscene, though. Alright, Lightning's on to phase two. Phase one, no problem. Oh no, he's bowling. He does that to peek up with the skirt. Good shot. He goes, he goes stride. Oh, 
Uh, I think here's another character, a rogue that tries to be the center of attention. Oh, that's a good one. I guess that's kind of Kazuma in a nutshell, but... <laughs> He doesn't want to be the center of attention. He doesn't want to be, yeah, but like, like a rogue, he's supposed to be quiet <laughs> and stealthy. Content, just, content creator just, rogue. Just con yeah, content creator, he doesn't want to be known. <laughs> Streamer. He wants to be known, he wants to be known <laughs> and noticed at all times, when he should be, especially when he should be being stealthy. Yeah, I did see a, a game that I bought for, for one of my friends and then bought myself because I really wanted to stream it called Live in Dungeon, which is a wizardry style game, but you have to live stream your dungeon attempts like in universe. Uh -huh. And like you're a content creator. It or, looks or, so funny. Oh, here's another one. You can go with, uh, have you ever heard Red Rape the Theater? Uh, it's like an ancient sprite web webcomic that ended like 10 or 10 years I ago. Just, I've just, heard just, of just, make, just make Red Mage from that. He's he is like a DD munchkin in the world and he he breaks the fourth wall constantly he um he he, he ignores damage by saying he forgets to write it on his character sheet <laughs> all right i trust in lightning to do this he 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 um yeah i know everyone's a patron they, they also ran a kickstarter to have the entire book printed and stuff with like legally oh that would be neat but um but he also um that he also, uh, he, he also just, like I said, he writes things in his character sheet that, that acknowledges he knows when he shouldn't know, and like, he, for example, he learned how to be animal husbandry and mated with many animals by accident. It's played for laughs, entirely. He put points in escapology and escape on me to get out of a trap. He's a very... Funny character. Yeah, he's basically exactly he's basically me. <laughs> you really think about it. Uh -huh. Actually, I kind of look like how Valdi looks right now. Like, oh, you exploded. How did you live this? It's like ah, I just forgot to rate the damage. Don't worry about oh, it. Black hole. Lightning is, is killing this boss fight so far. Lightning was higher level than I was. I was like level twelve, I think. Yeah, I I believe in lightning to finish this, on this well, attempt. Well, lightning has an FMP. Yeah, it has an FMP. You just, you just activate your armor and you just never it die. It is um it is plenty doable without it, but it's um uh, more doable with it. It's exceptionally doable. Probably has enough to just damage race the rest of the fight. Boss is down to pixels. That charge shot might do it. That'll do it. Yay. Time ends on fade to black. Because I didn't want to spoil which phase was the final boss. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Oh, the heartwarming scene. I want to be friends with Veldia. He seems like a cool guy. Uh huh. Kind of cute, too. Kind of like me. I'm glad Lightning's reading the plot. Well, what else is he gonna do? I'm glad this is happening. We get to see the ending. Good ending. Unless you like Veldia, which I guess he's coming back. Because he always comes back. I haven't read the light novel, so... Don't spoil it for me, anybody in the chat. Being only the only person who I believe in the chat would have actually read it would be Drake. And boom. Lightning finishes one thirteen thirteen.
leave the me ruined for everyone. <laughs> hey, I'm glad that I didn't use it and I still beat the game in like 50 minutes. Lightning didn't know how to swap his magic. It's in the pace, babe. <laughs> We'll see if Lightning wants to come chat. I think the answer is yes, because it's usually yes. And yeah. it is indeed yes. Is that my pal Lightning? Lightning! How's it going? Um, I'm sorry that you got Mega Man by Andy. Um, it was fun. So the big thing is that I forgot I had a dash button. And... Yeah. <laughs> um... When trying to change skills the first time, so I thought I had it bound to a different button than I did. Um, so that was fun. So I didn't use a skill for like the first two stages. Yeah, you still played pretty well though. It's a it's a punishing game until you get the armor. Yeah. Um, aside from that, what is it? Darkness's stage. This is platforming. Actually, hard. Ultra sucks. It was harder than the dull hand stage. Yeah, definitely. It was uh, it was probably the hardest part of the goal for me. I think I. But agree. I'm glad it looks like you enjoyed the game. I did. It's uh, have you played any other Team Ladybug games? I have not. Ooh, gotta get on Toho Luna Nights, Record of Lotus War. Yeah. Um, well, Shimnagami Tensei Synchronicity Prologue. I have a very long bucket list. Yeah. I, well, okay, to be honest, I haven't played any of them either, so. I did, I did beat the guy who was running Toho Lunar Nights at the GDQ I was at. And he was practicing right next to me, and we talked. He was a cool guy. Nice. But yeah, you, uh, you definitely, you clutched it out at the end right there. You start playing really well uh, near the end. It's well, just, it's a hard game to go fast in. I mean, I think the dash would have been, made things a lot better early on especially platforming in darkness this stage i hit it by accident at some point and i was like oh shit i have a dad um, yeah that also would have made a big difference what was that andy also in the face then. yes but you see there, there's something called reading that's very difficult to do uh, that's... <laughs> um yeah i honestly think that once i had the pressure of the race removed um it got significantly better yeah it's a really stressful game to play just because yeah. it, it's one of those games where you always feel like you could be going faster just because it's a really fast game mm -hmm. like oh i could have i could have dashed this segment oh i could have done a better jump here i could have killed this enemy faster it's like constantly that but it's just also, it's a blast to go play i didn't realize how easy uh, the three girls were. Yeah. <laughs> um, until the refight, and I was like, oh, well, it's actually super easy. The only thing I had trouble with was Darkness's uh, cannonballs. You can't see them yeah. in the refight. Yeah, they're, you can't see where they come from in the refight. And, like, you could have also used Explosion on Aqua, and it takes out, like, 80% of her life, which is, like, the crazy part. Yeah, well, the skill swapping thing, uh, I'm pretty sure that would have made the. Uh, what is it? First Dragon Boss, a lot easier. Yeah, definitely. It was a uh, it was encroaching on your space a bit, but uh, you you started playing really well with it near the end. So it was a uh, it was a good showing, but uh, not many people can do something when they pull a Mega Man game against Andy. And we could have pulled Mega Man too, or not. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't think that would be a mystery tournament. I also don't think <laughs> Andy's blind to it. So yeah, I'm definitely I'm also not, not blind, blind to it. it. No, you're blind to it, Andy. You know. <laughs> oh yeah, my mistake. Oh, yeah, I have never, never played, played the Game Boy Mega Man two. If we drew that, I actually would be. <laughs> oh, that one's awful. That one's actually awful. Oh I hell played... yeah, we needed an MP now. I I tried to uh, speed run it. I gave up. Oh, if you're gonna speed run a Game Boy Mega Man, just play five. <laughs> Why would uh... you do two? I know because four. I... I never played any of the Game Boy Mega Man, but I know Four's four. Where's the really laggy one? Classic. Yeah. I think four is the laggy one where the charge shot has recoil. <laughs> Oh, well, to be oh to God. be fair, right? Mega Man Four is also pretty laggy. Yes, true. That is true. But yeah, four, uh, four has four on Game Boy has recoil on the charge shot. That's why it's an empty classic. Well, Andy, 
You done it once again. You have an 11 star on your card. You're making it the top eight loser side. You right. redeemed yourself from last time. No, yeah. you could have gotten ninth again. And Lightning, you've been getting better and better every year. You got 13th last time, ending in ninth this time. It's yeah, uh, right. it's been great to see some really great matches. Took out, took out some good names along the way. I was actually very surprised at how far I got in this one, considering how the bracket ended up. Um, yeah, definitely. GG's, congrats on top eight, Andy. GG's. If you win the thing, it makes me look better. All right, yeah. well, that's my plan. I, I would love to make my pal Lightning look better. I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, there's always so so disappointed you could be about losing to just Corp and Andy, so yeah. it happens to the best of us. I mean, I could have lost to anybody that I went up against in losers, and I think I would have been fine, right? If I lost to uh, Drake, Drake. <laughs> Trambles. Yeah. You, you like, fought Drake your first round in losers, and yeah, he well, still like, came out on top. Losing to Drake or Shrambles, like, is nothing to be ashamed of. Yeah, they're like, Drake is, like, literally one of the best we have, and Shrambles is, like, definitely up there. top eight, top eight yeah. considered character. I said yeah. almost a character. <laughs> I guess Shrambles is kind of a character. But, like, ninth Shrambles place, you eight. would not be surprised to see Shrambles in top, in top eight at any point. Yeah. But, yeah, you've been getting better and better all the time. Um, I'm, I'm real excited to see what we're going to see next year. Um, sign up earlier so that we can draft you next time. Yeah, I know. Uh, I think the only reason I signed up was because uh, Jack Jack Zam pinged me about not being able to draft <laughs> me. I was like, oh, yeah, I should probably register for that, huh? So uh, I almost didn't enter this one. I yeah, also so... just didn't enter this one. Yeah, and then I saw, Crank, and I saw Crank to join, and I'm like, I can't let him join this one. Be an idiot and join. I was like, so I can't let him like, be an idiot okay. alone. Gosh dang it. <laughs> so, hey, Maurice. Why don't we look at what's coming up? I'm going to hop out of here. Good luck, friends. Thanks for having us. All right. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Lightning. So in about 18 and a half hours, another top eight qualifier because they're the only one that's left. Draconic Dawn versus Zex, another real exciting one. I believe we've seen Draconic Dawn get a ninth place finish uh, before, and we'll see. Has had some explosive years recently, some really good wins, and uh, has already taken out some big names in the bracket. Uh, taking out like Boney, who made top eight before, Nighty, very top tier competitor, and uh, Vitoro lost to someone three to five in winners, so has an impressive pedigree. We'll see if they can break the, the top eight curse, and uh, the winner of that will move on to fight Maurice. So we'll have to see. Is it going to be Maurice versus X again? And then uh, on Saturday, hour and 19 minutes, it's going to be the mystery show coming back. We know you all missed it, so we're all making it work again. Mystery Show is a variety show held by Blasphemous Roar and Shrambles where competitors don't know what they're doing. And it's just, it's it's a wild time. It's something that's difficult to explain. Yeah, they don't know what they're doing. Trust me, I, wasn't gonna, I was on it once. I was on it once, and I didn't know what I was doing. Um, it's it's hard to explain. You should just go watch the past episodes. They're up on YouTube if you want to see them. Uh, also, right after that, uh, yeah, directly after that, is going to be Jackson versus the Gons, a very exciting top eight qualifier because neither of these two players have made top eight before. Guaranteed new top eight player right there. Woo. Uh, gonna be very cool to see. Uh, another two players that have taken out some some big names in this bracket. So we'll see we'll see if they can make it. We'll see which one makes it, not if they can make it. And uh, because I got the okay from Roar directly after that is going to be RPG Book Club's recap for February because we were a little late. We're gonna be talking about Shadowrun Dragonfall. Uh, that will be coming up directly after the Jack and the versus the Gons match. And then mark your calendars, everybody. Top eight, eight days, 16 hours. That is on the 11th, starting at 1 p.m. Eastern. We did actually clarify in yeah. the top eight chat. It is I 1 annoyed, p.m. Eastern. I had no idea about it again, and then he, he actually, like, <laughs> passed around. I'm so glad that he did. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be then. Um, that's going to be all from us for now. Uh, all the races are scheduled coming up for the top eight, so... Gonna be really glad to see you guys all there and see you guys all in top eight. I will be commentating that and Maurice will be there. So you'll see both of us there. But uh, thank you, Maurice, for restreaming this and uh, joining me for this awesome game. Yeah, thank you very much. Good submission and uh, I like your your outro. Good. Yeah. We love Konosuba. Everybody go read and watch Konosuba.